Hello and welcome to the sixth rule. We are drawing mice and I assembled here some seven mice created by the artif artificial intelligence and I'd like to go through them and show you how you can improve your sketches by uh, drawing more lines that are associated. So meaning that you lead some lines into the form Oh, by the way, you see this mouse has lost its tail. This is the uh, artificial intelligence that uh, neglected it, but uh, we do not see it in the first uh, glance, but in the second. Okay, back to the task. Um, we are now asked to draw to associate the lines. So not only the lines that bound the form together that are in the silhouettes, but also lines that lead to the depth. They allow the observer to go uh, really to immerse deeper into the picture uh, because of the depth and because it gives dimension, meaning it leads like an elevation line uh, through the landscape of the surface of an object. Um, it's not about, not only about the depth and dimension, it's also about movement and energy. You see how the forms behave and where the, the lines go uh, to. And you can also lead the eye of the, uh, by the drawing, to certain areas like the, the eye of the object or the mouth of the object, uh, the nose uh, tip of the object, and this is very helpful. So in the end, actually, we say it increases complexity in drawings and this is what's triggering uh, your images and your audience to go deeper to your drawings. Okay. I start now drawing this mouse. As usual, I start with the tip of the nose because this is a special point. I do some hints where this could be about the size and to what direction the back of the nose goes, where the eye could be and the other eye and the ear maybe the other ear, some some first lines, but very faint lines, so um, be careful. Then the, uh, the piece of the cheese, where could be the feet, maybe you almost can't see the details, and the back of the mouse goes down here, yeah something like this and then the tail would start here but this is not what I focus on. Okay so I start with nose or with the eye. I do the dark of the eye but as we did before not the whole of the eye because I want to weave actually the picture to um, to a detailed form. So now I'm not only going to work with line bundles, but I start with the line bundles, but actually I need now those um, um, flipping out lines, those lines that uh, escape from the actual form or idea I want to, to sketch. And I take them and actually I can use other lines like these lines here to find the form where it goes to, where it's really formed in the meaning, not only the open form, but also here this um, moustache. And again, I'm just triggering the image. What direction is between the ears? about this, about the inner ears, then I have here uh, these lines that I uh, add to my drawing and I do the same here with the paw of this animal. Actually I do not count the amount of fingers because artificial intelligence, you can learn from it 
very well. It neglects the details because as well, the artificial intelligence triggers our inner, inner images um, that we complete. That's why it's not so, it may happen that your mouse has two or three or five um, paws or feet. And by the way, here you can see this. Um, but that's not important for our brain because we see the overall and not the detail. And while drawing, you can focus on the right form like this. By the way, it's even Cezanne with his bathing women. He has painted some women with three feet, a very famous image of the bathing women, and nobody cares about it. Okay, this is my second paw. And here I neglect the detail. Here the tail starts. I just make the starting of the tail and then I draw the lines that go into the form oh, yeah, yeah. the one that are associated with the form and this helps me to to find the form of all with all the details uh, Okay, that's it. pronounce here a little bit I could draw a little bit of shade in here so not really shadow but shade that helps maybe here as well so I cross hatch it um, you can see now those lines here in the area of the ear they help me to give the drawing speed because you know nice or speedy creatures and this helps me to bring in this information of speed you can see i use here the concept of open lines here i do not have actually any information the same was here, so it was maybe triggered by this uh, fact here. I work with line bundles to find the form and I put a little bit of shade in it so that it's easier to understand that here an object end and another starts. So this can help. Okay, whatever we do in drawing, we have the 10 rules and they work together. I try to focus in every drawing to a certain rule, but actually you always have to work with all the rules and then you have a good result. Um, yeah, that's it. Happy sketching.